Hello class, we are going to continue our online lecture about the dual sports. So now we will discuss about the basic badminton strokes or hits. So the objectives of this lecture, after going through this lesson, you are expected to first demonstrate basic badminton strokes or hits. Next one, demonstrate the different kind of serving. And lastly, appreciate the importance of simple safety precautions before playing a badminton. So these are the following basic badminton strokes or hits. First, clear. We also have lob, drop, net drop or net shot, drive, and lastly, smash. So let's talk first about the first one the clear so the shot is done with the stroke above the head okay above the head and the shuttle travel up targeting the long serving line so this is the target direction of the shuttle cut and it is intended to give the player time to return to the base position so this is the movement of the rocket or the swing of the rocket okay this is the swing of the rocket and then the direction for the shuttlecock is on this direction so this is called clear next is love so the shot is done with a stroke below the head okay below the head okay so about it is about in the waist level as you can observe it is in the waist level so the shuttle traveling upward direction so for your rocket this is the direction of the swing of the rocket and then for the shuttle cock this is the direction okay going upward direction next is it is called drop so the shot is usually made with the stroke above the head so the shuttle traveling up but dropping just near the net okay so it is usually done for placing purposes especially if the your opponent is in this uh, place so the strategy so that the opponent will uh, cannot able to catch the shuttle cut they call it a drop same uh, movement with the clear but the direction of the shuttle cut will be on the near of the net okay so the swing movement of the rocket is on this place but the direction for the shuttle cut is on this place near at the net next is net drop or net shot so the shot is normally done with a stroke below the head and the shuttle traveling just barely touching the net and landing near so it is for another placing purposes okay so you will just drop the shuttle cap near the net okay next is it is called drive so the shot is made with a stroke about the level of the head okay same level with the head so the shuttle traveling straight or flat over the net okay the trouble of the shuttle cut is straight and lastly the smash so the shot is done with a stroke above the head okay and the shuttle traveling down with the power and speed so it is considered one of the most powerful attack in badminton so this is the direction of the shuttle cut and this is the direction of the swing of the rocket smash okay so let's uh, wrap up the different basic badminton strokes or hits so we have here put a legend here defensive clear attacking clear number three love four drop five net drop or shot six drive and then seven smash so for example you are in this uh, place so if you were going to do the defensive clear this is the direction of the um, shuttlecock from here 
to here and then for attacking clear so that is for number two from here to here and then for the love as we have discussed a while ago number three so for example if you are in this place from here to here and then for number four the drop for example if you are in this uh, particular place you will um, shut the shuttlecock near the net okay as you can observe here and then net drop or shut you are in this place and then you will just drop the shuttlecock also near of the net and then lastly number seven that is smash the strongest attack um, from here to here so it, as you can observe there's a straight direction of the shuttlecock okay so these are the basic badminton strokes or hits so if we have a face-to-face -face class you are going to demonstrate this one by one so now we'll discuss about the serving so the serving is how you start the rally so someone must hit the shuttle first to prevent the serving gaining on overwhelming advantage so there are special restrictions place on serving that do not apply during the rest of the rally so the question is how to serve so in badminton the serve must be hit in an upward direction with an underarm hitting action so you're not allowed to play a tennis style serving so the badminton and the lawn tennis is different in terms of serving so the main rule here is that when you hit the shuttle it must be below your waist so to be exact the rules define it to be a height level with the lowest part of your rib cage so in other words you can serve from a bit higher than the top of your shorts but not much so now we'll discuss about the different kinds of serves so we have we call it high and deep we also have low and short and we also have drive or flick so let's discuss first about the high and deep serve so the first thing that you need to do is to hold the head of the shuttlecock with its head facing downward so that the shuttlecock will drop straight down next thing that you need to do is to stand sideways so the side of your body facing the net and relax your racket arm so the arm that is holding the racket and then let go of the shuttlecock and swing your racket arm upwards so as you do this twist your waist to the extent that your body faces the net and then flick your wrist towards the directions you want the shuttle to land so you need to flick your wrist upwards so that the shuttle will fly high and lastly your back leg should lift naturally with your toes touching the ground as you can observe here next is is the low and short so what you're going to do is to hold the feather of the shuttlecock with the head of the shuttlecock facing downwards as you can observe here in this part so the next thing you need to do is to uh, step slightly forward with your right or left leg if you are right-handed or left-handed okay and then as you let go of the shuttlecock flick your racket light while pushing your thumb forward towards the directions you want the shuttle to land so the power comes mainly from the push of your thumb and slight flick of your wrist and lastly it is the drive or flick so the quick snap of the wrist as you can observe here this is quick snap of the wrist in the backhand okay so the player holds the racket in a backhand position Again, it is a quick snap of the wrist in the backhand grip with the racket heel directly in front of the body. So the shuttle travels in a direct line at the receiver. So these are the three uh, kinds of serves, basic serves in badminton. And most importantly, uh, these are the simple safety precautions. Number one, do some warm-up and stretching exercises 
so this is very important before you play badminton or any sports or games it is important to have a warm up and stretching exercise number two you need to wear proper proper attire okay uh, it depends on the sports or games that you are going to play you need to wear a proper attire for comfort and for safety and then the third one there should be enough space in the play area so what you are going to do is you need to clear the obstacles or anything that can hinder uh, during your play of the badminton and then after you have played the badminton you need to do some cool down activities okay so these are the simple safety precautions that you are need to to do before and after playing a badminton or any sports and games so i hope that you have learned something from this short lecture and don't forget to answer the quiz via google form thank you see you in the next video bye bye